Hey guys, DarkDragon902 here, and today I am going to be showing you how to make a custom boss health bar that goes down as you hit the boss in increments in vanilla Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, as you can see with these command blocks here, uh, there are multiple commands that you're going to need to do. Specifically, these first three right here, they are scoreboard commands. The first one is slash scoreboard objectives add boss health track dummy. Now, this could be any uh, scoreboard that you want, like any name that you want, but this is what I'm using for the commands that will be in the description. But boss health track dummy. Then the next one is slash scoreboard objectives add boss health dummy and then i like to put the name of the boss and for this example just witherhead then the next one slash scoreboard objectives add boss hit dummy so one of these tracks the boss when you hit the boss sorry about that the other one of them tracks the boss's health and the other one to split one of them tracks the boss's health one of them displays the boss's health the next command is just here for uh, example over here. This command summons in the boss itself. It just summons in a wither skeleton with a name, holding an iron sword, wearing a chainmail helmet. Um, I'll give a link to a generator that you can make custom mobs with, but just like underneath here, it just activates two other command blocks to set the sidebar to boss health and to set the boss's health to 100. This command here is to summon the armor stand, which is already over here from this, and it is the command slash summon armor stand, tilde tilde tilde, custom name, colon, health, no gravity one, so it's just an armor stand placeholder called health. This command block here is just to set the boss's health to 100, and this one again is just to set the sidebar to show the health. Now we get into this right here. So the first command is an unconditional repeat, and it's slash test for at e name equals and then the boss name, and then in curly brackets hurt time colon 1s. This command block right here just tests for when the boss has a hurt time of 1, so when you hit the boss. Then the next one is to just set the score of the boss to 1 on boss hit if you hit the boss. Then this is, uh, also both of these are conditional chain. So this one, slash scoreboard players remove at e type equals player boss health track 5. So that removes a score of 5 on the player. If you're doing this for a multiplayer map, you could just summon in another armor stand placeholder with a different name, like just health track or something. And instead of removing from at e type equals player, you can remove from at e name equals and then whatever name you made the armor stand, such as like health track or something. That's not what I'm going to do. Um, then the, this right here just makes it so that when you hit the boss, it takes 5 damage. Then the next one is another scoreboard players, or not another, but a scoreboard players operation command. And it's slash scoreboard players operation health boss health equals add you take equals player, or like I said before, you could just do another armor stand placeholder there boss health track. So what that does is it makes it so the armor stand health has the same score as the player or another armor stand has on boss health track. So it displays under boss health as health, not just a random UUID. The next command block is just testing for when the armor stand health has a score of zero on boss health. The next one is also, uh, before we go into the next one, with this, you can make this like negative 100 or something. So if you're going down by increments that don't go into 
um, that don't go into uh, 100 evenly or just whatever health you do evenly, then you can just make it so it detects it when it goes from when it's from zero to some negative number. So you could just detect once it goes to zero, like end of a zero range. But anyway, the next one is a conditional chain. So if this is true, then it will kill the skeleton, or not kill the skeleton, but kill the boss. In my case, it's a type of skeleton called Witherhead. And then the final command block is just to clear the sidebar. So I'll give you an example, like at the beginning of the video, I just hit this button, which it summons the boss. It uh, sets the sidebar to boss health, and it sets the player to a boss health score of 1. So I can just hit it. As you can see, the score word pops up. Witherhead, health 100. Witherhead is right here. If I go into game mode 0, game mode 0, then as you can see, no matter what I hit it with, but as you can see, it does a hefty amount of damage. Um, this is a good thing that you could do. I'll go into game of one. A good thing you could do for boss health in a map or something. Uh, you could just have it on a scoreboard automatically, no matter what you hit it with. Like, as you can see, this is a sharpness at thousand sword, and it's not killing it. Cause just because with another command block running in the background, I'll just kill this real quick. But as you can see, the... Yeah, but if I just kill it right here, don't, don't run away. If I just kill it right here, as you can see, the health went to zero, and it died. Uh, something to keep in mind is with this command block, not that one, this command block right here, make sure the smaller number is first. I made that mistake before. But, um, yeah, you could do any boss with it. Just change the name in these command blocks. Again, instead of adding type equals player, you could just, like, summon an armor stand in health track or something, and do at e name equals health track. And it'll have the exact same effect. But, yeah, that was just how to get a custom boss health bar in Vanilla Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that you find some use for it, as like, such as a map or something. So, that's about it. So, uh, yeah. See you guys.